Hey guys, I just got this through the post and this is a Zoom A14, A1X4 actually. The X stands for the pedal here and you can also get a unit that doesn't have the pedal which is slightly cheaper and actually here in Australia the one without the pedal was on sale so it was like 80 or 60 dollars cheaper but i decided to go for this one which we'll see i i still need to investigate whether i need the pedal so i might end up returning this product and you know either for good or exchanging it for the one without the pedal if i realize that i don't need this pedal and what this unit is it's a multi effects processor and on the box it says here stonebox Stonebox effects, rhythm patterns, built-in looper, and mic amp included. So um, let's open it up. And this one is designed specifically for acoustic instruments with the emphasis on the acoustic guitar, but also on saxophone, trumpet, violin, harmonica, and more. And um, this was sort of recommended when I was checking out my new guitar at the time. And we went to this bigger music store. My friend actually pointed this one out to me and um, I took a, a, a picture of this thinking that, okay, I'll need to understand a little bit more about this device, whether I actually need it or not. And then I ended up ordering it recently. And I'm planning to use this one with the guitar and the saxophone in the back here. Okay, let's open it up. So inside the box we have, let's see, I need to be careful with it. We have the unit itself. Okay, looks like this and it feels pretty sturdy. So it's got a metal plate at the bottom. Um, this is where the A4, oh sorry, the AA, four AA batteries go. And then we have these slots at the back. This one is an in input slot, so this is where your instrument cable will go. Then Next one is a Kensington lock. I'm not sure what you would use it for, but yeah, this is the type of lock that used to come on the laptops so that you could secure them. Then the USB, mini USB port. And this one is a port that you can also use for charging, not just connecting to the computer. Then there's a direct current DC input, nine volts port. And the unit doesn't come with a DC adapter. So you have to power it through either the USB, mini USB port or by the batteries. And then there is an aux in. So an input for 3.5 millimeter jack so this one i believe is if you want to say practice on your guitar or saxophone with some backing tracks and um, while hearing the processed sound of the guitar then this is how you would achieve that and then you have uh, another input oh hold on so this was the output this this is the output that um, is like a stereo one one point quarter inch cable so TRS cable that goes into here and um, this is the input so this is where the, your instrument cable will go into okay and then you have the two pedals to change between the effects and probably to use for other functionality as well and you've got this 
small knobs which you can use to do the same thing but with your fingers if you decide to use this pedal on the top of your desk for example and then these buttons are tactile as well and these knobs are for adjusting and there's a bit of an action here as you move this dial from left to right you can actually feel it moving and there's a couple of buttons here and the screen obviously okay so that's the unit itself and then we have this thing here so this is let me see I don't want to damage the packaging so this is a an adapter from XLR to an instrument cable so what this one does is say if you want to use this unit with your saxophone or any other acoustic instrument that doesn't have an instrument output or even say you, you wanted to use it with your acoustic guitar I suppose but it doesn't have a pickup so what you would do then you would put this instrument cable into here and then you plug your microphone using this adapter so using an XLR cable and then a microphone and this one also has compartment for the batteries and you open it I need to be careful again like like this so here you have space for two AA batteries it feels a little bit plasticky and not very reliable if I'm honest but I think it should do the job and then you have an adjustment for the gain and you can also feed the microphone with some phantom power so say if you're using a condenser microphone this will be handy okay so this is another small bit that comes with it and then you have the six double a batteries so that you can use the unit straight away so you may ask me a valid question what is it that i'm intending to use this pedal for and um, the answer is i can foresee a couple of scenarios first one is using it with a saxophone so for the time being i've been using when i play on saxophone busking i just go directly into the microphone and then um, that microphone goes into my speaker and i think for the saxophone the settings need to be different from my voice because saxophone is much more louder instrument and in general it probably requires some different type of processing compression reverb etc compared to a human voice or the guitar for example so i'm planning to use that with that but also probably more importantly at, at least for now is i'm planning to use it with my guitar and this is a new guitar that i've recently got and, and or treated myself for and this is a beautiful eastman dreadnought e10 double s slope shoulder and it comes with a pickup with a passive pickup i don't think however this pickup is the best out there it was there pre-installed it was either installed by the previous owner or it may have been installed by eastman at their factory itself and what i've noticed in some of the recordings is that when i tried this guitar out with my amp it didn't sound the best like it didn't sound as beautiful as it sounds naturally acoustically and that kind of tells me that perhaps the pickup installed on the guitar is not the best out there and hence why i decided that i wanted to try to do something about it which could have been either installing a pickup or doing something sort of like doing some post-processing so to speak the first use case 
for this battle is to use it when busking. And the primary reason is to make sure that the guitar sounds its best. And also because my guitar doesn't have a sort of like an active pickup and there is no way of adjusting the volume on the guitar, I believe that by configuring a couple of different effects here, I could then switch easily between them without tweaking anything on my actual amplifier. So for example, if I go from a loud strumming song to a finger picking song, I could then switch between the two chain effects and uh, have the one for the finger picking set to be a bit louder so that it compensates for the quietness of the finger picking. And with my busking hat on, what I also like about this unit is that it feels pretty rugged, apart from this microphone adapter that I've mentioned, which feels a little bit plasticky, but hopefully it'll hold up as well. And um, the other important thing for busking is that it's pretty light and portable and compact. And as I said before, I may decide to go for the model that doesn't even have this extra pedal, expression pedal, which is, it's called. Um, and also it can be powered through a USB portable bank or through the four AA batteries. And I have plenty of the rechargeable AA batteries that I use for my busking anyways. The scenario with the guitar is actually using it indoors because I've started using the guitar in my streams, which I do regularly every week. And um, so far to improve the sound of my guitar and make it sound better, instead of just plugging it directly into the mixer, which doesn't have any further processing, I plug it into this Bose S1 Pro amplifier because it has got a tone match technology for the guitar. And also you can adjust the equalizer by tweaking the bass and treble and also there is a reverb on it as well. Um, but the problem with it is that there's not a whole load of presets here other than the three that I've mentioned. And also if I play it through the amplifier, it can be quite loud and this could disturb the neighbors. So instead of doing this, what I could do instead with the pedal is plug my guitar into here and then send the output signal into my mixer. And now the third scenario which I could foresee happening is using this pedal for quiet practice because as I've mentioned at the beginning, it does have the input for the instrument, for the, for the guitar. It also has input for auxiliary chords. So you could put some backing tracks through here and then it's got importantly an output for a quarter inch jack. So you could use headphones with or without an adapter. Okay, and now we're gonna do some testing. So I'm going to plug in each of these guitars into Zoom A1X4 and I'm going to do some basic finger picking and we'll go through each of the acoustic guitar presets one by one. And you guys can listen to it and let me know if you hear the difference between the guitars themselves, but also what you think about the effects. And audio wise, I'm going to do a very simple setup. So I'm going to take the output from Zoom A1X4 and we'll send it into the stereo input on my Roland Go Mixer Pro. And you'll just be hearing this sound as it comes from the unit. I will mute all the other microphones that I have so that you are only hearing the audio from the unit itself.
So this is the Zoom Guitar Lab. And as you can see here, there are different types of effects that are available for this particular multi effects processor. And they're categorized in different sections. So there's dynamics, filters, drive, amp, cabinet, modulation, delay, reverb, pedal, and different types of acoustic guitars because this particular multi-effects processor is targeted at the acoustic guitars and acoustic instruments in general. And I would imagine that other types of Zoom products, because they have a range of different products aiming at different instruments, will have different um, instruments available. And then in the patches, you can see an overview of the types of patches that are available. And in total, there's about 50 something and 40 something of these patches are already preloaded. As you can see, the first nine are all acoustic guitar related. And um, these are, as you can see, the first one is modeled around Martin D28, then there's the second one is modeled around J45, which is a Gibson. And then you go on their further acoustic guitar effects, which you will see in the video, or you have seen in the video. And then there are some other additional effects that are targeted at other types of acoustic instruments like harmonica, violin, electric violin, whatever TP stands for, saxophone, and then you have a bunch of empty slots, slots where, which you can use for your own user-created presets. And you can actually, if you're not planning on using violin, harmonica, etc., you can override and use those slots for something else. And then we come to the editor and this is where you can actually edit the settings of each patch. And within that, you can also edit the different settings of each effect that you insert into the patch. And in total, you can insert up to, is it five or six effects into a chain? And in this case, you can see that the one that comes with the paddle preloaded, the one modeled around Martin D28, has got this type. So acoustic guitar model is set to D28. 34 is the amount of processing power that's taken up by this effect. And as you can see, the processor for this chain of effects is used at 83%. So you still have some spare capacity within the processing power. Then the next effect in the chain is dynamics. And this one has to do with compression. So again, you probably want to sort of read up about the different types of effects and what it is that they actually do. Or Another way would be just to experiment with it. And the third one in chain is filter. And this one has to do with an equalization. And as you can see again here, I think what they've done here is they've set up different equalizers. So fish EQ must be like a Fishman EQ. Bags EQ must be the LR bags. And I don't know what those other ones are, but they're probably also modeled on some, some um, well-known equalizer setting, whatnot. Uh, number four is sort of like a subsection of um, the number three. And you've got some filters here, like a low cut filter. And the number five is a reverb. So again, with a reverb, you have different types of reverbs, all in all, six different types of reverbs available and you can experiment with them as well. And then the last one is pedals. 
in this particular chain, I think you can set it, like set up the chain as, as um, however you want. And this particular pedal is controlling the volume, but you can also use other pedals. So there is one that controls reverb, there's another one that controls pitch, and another one that controls delay. 